most of our students they got confused while they are starting their research this is because there are a lot of concepts needs to be understand in terms of research philosophies while they are starting their research and in this situation one can get confused easily in this video i'm going to tell you about the research philosophies in a very simple way so you can understand your philosophical stance in your research but before starting these concept we have to understand these two basic terminologies which we use in understanding the research philosophies these are ontology and epistemology let me explain all these concept one by one but before that we should understand ontology and epistemology shape your research philosophy so the research philosophy is mainly dependent on these two component so that's why it is important for us to understand each of these concept let us start with understanding ontology so ontology is basically answering the questions what is reality and what shapes the reality it tells you about the knowledge and what is happening there or for example if you are planning to solve any situation or any problem it will give you idea of that what is that problem and what are the possible solutions to that problem ontology gives you three basic answers three questions that leads to the ontology is what is reality or knowledge what shapes that knowledge or what are the events that shape that knowledge or that uh, reality and what is the relationship between each of these components which shapes the reality or form the knowledge for you so that is the basic of ontology ontology we can understand based on these three concepts but to make it very simple ontology is telling us about what is reality now there are many beliefs available for the ontology but here to make this video very easy i am taking only three beliefs or three major beliefs of ontology that is the first belief is that there is only one reality it is called singularity means that there is only one universal set of solution to any problem there is only one universal truth there is only one reality for a specific situation or specific problem and this reality exists without how people or how perceiver they perceive this reality okay so it is called the concept of singularity there is only one solution or one reality okay now the second concept is there are more than one reality there are many realities and there may be possibilities multiple realities or multiple truths are there that is not independent of perceiver it depends on how people they perceive the truth or the reality or the knowledge it depends largely on the people who are shaping that reality or creating that uh, truth okay now this is the second belief and the third belief is there are one or maybe many realities so there both possibilities are there okay so this is the third famous concept of uh, ontology so keep in mind these three concepts so we'll use them to form our uh, research philosophy okay now the first concept is that there is only one reality the second concept is the the realities are more than one there is more than one realities and it is not independent of perceiver and finally there is a belief that there is a one or maybe many realities exists okay now this is ontological belief let's move to the second concept which may be uh, uh, we we should understand very clearly or more clearly it is epistemology now epistemology tells you about how we receive knowledge how we how do we know about truth how do we know about reality it means that it tells us how we receive or how we collect knowledge okay so this is epistemology uh, similarly like ontology there are 
a lot of beliefs or ontological uh, beliefs are available in the uh, research or in the philosophy but here in this video to make it very simple i'm just taking only three beliefs of uh, the only three famous beliefs of epistemology the first belief is that the knowledge can be measured and it can be measured using any reliable tools and techniques so there is a measurability in the uh, truth or in the knowledge that is the first uh, belief there is another belief that knowledge can be interpreted it is not measurable so you have to interpret it uh, that is the second belief of epistemology so we can uh, receive knowledge or we can collect knowledge by interpreting any situation or any uh, a truth or any uh, reality okay now the third belief is that the truth can be measurable or knowledge can be measurable or at the same time it can be explained or it can be interpreted so this is the third belief or epistemological strands we are studying in this video okay now let's see how these concepts they shape your research philosophy or the approach you are using in your thesis or in your final year project or in your any research you are planning to perform okay now for example in this equation you can see ontological beliefs and epistemological beliefs they shape your research philosophy here i am taking the first belief that the belief ontological belief is that there is only one reality and it can be measurable so if we are using these two concepts the philosophical approach we are going to see would be the positivism so we are using positivism and the positivism believe that there is one solution to a particular problem and it can be measurable the knowledge is one the reality is one the truth is one and it is measurable uh, with the help of tools and techniques we can apply so it depends on more quantitatively uh, uh, measuring the different beliefs and the knowledge so knowledge is measurable there is only one reality available and we can measure it using reliable tools and techniques so this is positivism now let's see the second ontological belief that is very simple the truths are many the realities are not only one they are many and it can be interpreted it is not measurable but rather than measuring them we can interpret them and or explain them so the interpretation and measurability uh, with the help of uh, this uh, epistemological approach and the ontological approach is that there are multiple realities we see this is constructivism so in the constructivism we we consider that there are many realities and they can be interpreted or explained okay so this is a philosophical approach where we mostly use our qualitative uh, research and then we have the third belief the belief that the reality can be one and many and the epistemological approach that it can be examined or it can be interpreted means that it can be measured or it can be interpreted both options are available but we can use whatever the best tool available for the situation and that is epistemological approach and in that case we are using a pragmatism approach so pragmatic approach or pragmatism uh, research philosophy deals with the situation where ontological belief is that the reality can be one and many and it can be the knowledge can be measured and also it can be interpreted so this is uh, pragmatism in terms of uh, research philosophy these are the three major approaches of research methodology so let's just conclude these how these three uh, different techniques or different philosophies are being formed from uh, epistemological and, and ontological beliefs but here i want to mention that when we are starting our research it is very important for us to understand what is our strands whether we are going for uh, positivism whether we are going for constructivism or we are going for pragmatism means that we are going for quantitative qualitative or mixed method or multi method research okay now let's just conclude what we learned from this video uh, in this situation uh, ontological strands is basically depending on the three major 
बिलीव दैट आई यूज इन दिस वीडियो द सिंगुलर रियालिटी मल्टीपल रियालिटीज एंड सिंगुलर और मल्टीपल रियालिटीज ओके एंड देन एपिस्टेमोलॉजिकल बिलीव आई यूज इट कैन बी मेजर द नॉलेज कैन बी मेजर यूजिंग सोफिस्टिकेटेड टूल्स और साइंटिफिक रूल्स एंड देन एपिस्टेमोलॉजिकल स्ट्रांस इज दैट द सेकेंड एपिस्टेमोलॉजिकल स्ट्रांस इज दैट रियालिटी कैन बी interpreted it is not measurable instead it is interpretable and finally the third uh, is basically we can use either measurement or we can interpret the reality whatever best fit in the uh, in the situation we are in we can use all this okay so this is how we form different uh, research philosophies the positivism is based on ontological stance of singularity means that there is only one truth and it can be and the knowledge can be measured so we are using to tools to measure that that is positivism and in second we uh, we conclude the constructivism as a approach where we believe that there are multiple realities and the truth or the knowledge needs to be interpreted and finally uh, we have pragmatism which believes that uh, ontological approach is why where the reality is singular or it can be multiple and we can use any available tool to measure it or we can interpret it that is called pragmatism so i hope so you understand these concept uh, what you need to do is in the uh, comment box you have to uh, mention that what is your approach in your research finally a project thesis or in your research article i hope so this video will be useful for you to understand the research philosophies Thank you very much and have a very nice day.